Let's talk about that. It's time we slice through the smoke and mirrors. Thanks down because we've got new oh. what do you think the most common deal breakers are for people who want relationships in Nigeria cheating lies communication problem mm. disrespect I agree 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 in the African environment a lot of women overlook men that cheat once there's a ring on the finger it's no longer a deal breaker you're not leaving as long as he's not bringing it home <laughs> On Love Lounge this week, I have with me Belinda Effa, who's an amazing actress. I feel very honored. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And capital F E M I. <laughs> <laughs> who's not only a singer, but you've actually created a number of love songs for a number of uh, love rom com. Yeah. So I feel like you're the love doctor right now. Something like that. Yeah. So mm. Something like that. If something you make like baby mm. making music, then you should be entitled to come and tell us how, <laughs> how sure, to maintain sure. our relationship. De definitely. I, I totally agree with you. I totally agree. <laughs> So we're talking about deal breakers today. Mm -hmm. What do you think the most common deal breakers are for people who want relationships in Nigeria? Um, cheating. Mm. Uh, that's che a big one. Yeah, that's... Uh, Lies. Communication problem. Mm. Disrespect. Mm. And a lot of others. Okay. Uh, I agree, agree, agree. <laughs> but I think there's some other deal breakers other than that. That's usually the usual suspect. I think one of the deal breakers is bad breath for me. Body odor is a deal breaker. Bad breath. Bad breath, body odor. Um, well, I mean, hello, before you even get there, yeah. That's you, like the you first... You must have known the girl that she has bad breath before you even decide to be with her, right? Yeah, but then deal breaker, so you're not, you decide you're not even getting... You're not moving past, oh, hi, yeah. what's your number? It's like, my number's out. Ah, no, no way. Yeah, thank you. You know <laughs> well, what I'm saying? Okay, okay. That is just like the establishment, but like you're in a relationship and you've been working things out and all of a sudden like, nah, -uh, I'm not doing this anymore. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, that's that's definitely, that's where the whole, uh, you know, the lying, the cheating and all that stuff comes in. But I, I, for me, I, it's usually the first thing. Uh, um, there's some things that you right off the bat know that you don't want. Everyone everyone doesn't want a liar mm -hmm. no one wants a cheater mm -hmm. no one wants to be with a scumbag whatever, for me it was whatever. like I, you can't be a smoker That's you i i would you got a pass i mean i don't mind if you're not christian or you're not muslim but i need you to be have on this, you can't be an atheist like you have to have an idea of okay there is a god there is a god there is something that exists so exactly. whether you're just spiritual i don't mind if you don't go to church mosque synagogue whatever it is but just believe that there's something bigger than us out there. Exactly. And you don't and have, about and you don't have to go to church mm -hmm. to know there is a God. Mm -hmm. I totally me, agree with it, you. Yeah. That. Um, cleanliness is next to godliness. So when I see your appearance, the way you talk, the way you carry yeah. yourself, has to depict all of that. You know. So it's not just about your personal hygiene, which is very important. The way you dress, the way you carry yourself, your mannerism, when you're eating, your etiquette. All those things go a long way for me. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And, and um, if I'm going on a first date with you, and the first thing I see is you being rude to <sighs> a wait staff, don't call okay, me again. But, but, but don't you do got to be careful with that. <laughs> um, sometimes being rude to a waiter, it could be the way the waiters present. No. You know, it's almost kind of like it, trying to be, be that to be macho man for you. So that one has to be. It even depends on the kind of this. I think there's a time to be rude. I okay. think even if I'm rude to the waiter, mm -hmm. you, the man, should have control of the situation. You shouldn't join me. I mean, it's normal for a lady to want to show off a little bit, but the guy should be like, "Hey, be in control." Guys like to show off too. So I, I, don't, I like down to earth guys. I love them when they're down to earth because they understand life. They've been there, done that, and it doesn't mean anything. So when you want to show off, that means there's something about you that is not cool. Mm -hmm. True. We're going to talk about if there are deal breakers that people might be willing to overlook and if there are deal breakers that change with age over time. Do send us your messages. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, and I want to hear from you today. Welcome back to Love Lounge. We're talking about deal breakers today and I would like to find out from you if you reckon there's some things that people um, say, you know what, I need him or her to be this kind of person, but with time, with age, it changes. Okay, in the African environment, a lot of women overlook men that cheat. So I, I mean, those are, they're like, mm, I'm married. Men who cheat naturally, so it's okay. As long as he's not bringing it home. Mm -hmm. So, so it stops being a deal breaker at that point. Once there's a ring on the finger, it's no longer a deal breaker. Oh, yeah. You're not leaving. Yeah. <laughs> Please break it down. Please okay. do. Okay, all right. Um, 
I, I think there's certain deal breakers as you get older you should yeah. definitely get out of. Um, I mean, there's some deal breakers that you mentioned smoking. I, th I think that's a deal breaker that if you really want your partner to get out of is something you work on together. And um, actually, as you work on together, you find out that it brings you closer together. Mm. But I think there's some deal breakers that um, as much as you want it to change, if it's embedded in that person, I mean, change starts within. Um, you could be with that person as long as you want, but if they're not ready to change, you're just kind of wasting your time. Right. So there's some things you just have to say, all right, I give up. Whenever you want to change, change. There's some things you have to say, whatever. And there's some things you can't change. For instance, yeah. when you're 18 or you're in your 20s, one of your deal breakers might be if I meet a guy and he happens to already have a child or two, I'm not going to date him. But then if you're in your 30s These, or 40s exactly. or 50s, you're like, well, well actually, well, if he doesn't have, have some kids. <laughs> if, if, he, if, if he doesn't have six, <laughs> you know, I can work on two. Work on uh, two. I can work on two. Are they university? So they don't live at home? That's they don't fine. Live at home. Yeah, yeah, as long as they don't live at home, okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah as, as you get older, age, I think age, you, you know, also break some deals. Like you said, the older the wine, the better the time. The mm -hmm. taste. So yeah. I mean, the one that you get, it's like it's not such a big deal. It's not such a big deal. Lies is telling lies. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Do you think that both sexes have the same preconceptions on what? I, I know we tend to romanticize relationships, mm -hmm. but do you think we have the same preconceptions of what an ideal man or ideal woman should look like? Uh, What's uh, a perfect woman look to you like to you? A perfect woman to yes. me. Um, a perfect woman to me is um, is a woman that knows who she is, and it could be anything. I mean, as long as you know who you are as a person, I think that's a perfect woman. Um, I think we're all we're we're so caught up in, oh, you must be light skin, dark skin. You know, I just think it, it must be just if you know who you are as a person, you know where you're going, and you know what you want in life. I think that's a perfect woman to me because. Let me tell you, we all have flaws. There's so many flaws mm -hmm. out there. If you start saying, oh, she got to be tall, she got to speak well, she got to do... You won't find at all. So, for so me, you meet your perfect woman. Yes. And you're together. You've been dating, let's say, two years. Uh -huh. And she wakes up one day with yeah. halitosis. And she cannot do anything about it. She's tried seeing the dentist, she's gone to the doctors, and it's just like, well, it's, it's for whatever reason, this is her for life now. What do Brush you do? Me. I mean, you can't literally. So if she's sleeping next to you in bed, you literally just open up her mouth and just put breath no, in her. No, like, I can't. mean it's it's just one of those things. When we go out, she, I mean, if she knows that's her problem, she, her and she there's no cure for it. She, eventually, she's like, okay, I have to throw in a tic tac or two all yeah. the time. Mm. I mean, I I think you can overlook halitosis after two years. Okay. Because it wasn't there before. It wasn't there before. Okay. That's a different ball game. It's just like uh. you've been together for two years and suddenly you have cancer. Mm. Are you saying, oh, I have cancer, bye, I don't want to be with you. No, that's a different ball game. You've been together for two years. You've, uh, you've, made, you've built a foundation. Yes. You're going somewhere. You know mm. where you're both going. So you can't suddenly just bail in two years. Okay, okay. so I'll Belinda, like what does... Jump in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jump. I know of some couples that have not had it for a while. Maybe that could just be one of the reasons. They're just like leaving mates you know because they can't put up with the halitosis or whatever it is so i think we need to deal with the issue if you know you have body odor deal with it so it's not a case of my body my husband has not touched me in five years so i don't want to be your roommate i don't want to be your flatmate or whatever we are married let's do the married thing so if you have a problem deal with it uh, in, uh we didn't have it before doesn't mean that now that you have it you should just live with it mm. You have to deal with it. Okay, so what does a perfect man look like to you? Um, for me, um, like I said, I love down-to-earth people and I love people that are focused. You know what, you're driven, you have a drive because men of these days are just looking for a rich bag. You know, a money bag, someone you can just leech in and like, okay. That's let's go harsh, the man. Yeah. Are you looking for a money bag? No. <laughs> no. no. So, I mean, even if you do not have it, but at least have a focus, have your five-year plan, 10-year plan, This is, and then work at it. Do not just sit down and cross your legs and like, babes, can you borrow me and be a scrub? I'm no. sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's weak. Forgive me. I think you need to introduce her, in, introduce her to some of your friends. Yeah. <laughs> yes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a message I have on, on Twitter 
from somebody, but I want to read it after the break. So please keep your messages coming in. I am seeing them and I will be reading them right after this. Welcome back to Love Lounge. I'm going straight to Twitter now. I have a message from Nese who says, when I say I hate underarm hair, <laughs> I hate it. It's not sexy on men at all. I could end a marriage over it. I am very, very serious. Mm. I agree. Okay. And the reason why I agree, because actually someone told me, so I shaved. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to keep some. <laughs> but I think that... I think that's a personal thing, though. Yeah. Because some women, and I'm one of them, I find hair on men quite sexy. Because mm. as a woman, I'm literally, the only part of my body that I allow hair to grow on is hair to hair. Everything else, I am like a baby. Do you understand? So on a man, it's the opposite of what I am. And I find it very attractive. It, it's, everyone's different. So you might find that you do something for this person that's a deal breaker in this relationship sure. and then another relationship, relationship is that totally is the exact thing, thing that does it for them. Yes. For me, I'm indifferent on this one. I don't know. I don't know how, you know, a guy... Shaving hair is okay, but... Sh Under well, arm. just keep it decent. No, yeah. exactly. Trim it. it, it you just trim it. Make sure... It, keep it I mean, hair traps moisture yeah. and smells. That's so, all, but... Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I, I, th I think it's one of those things. That it's your personal decision on mm, that. Yeah. If you really... You know, but if it's she hates it, deal. hey, she hates it. So what do you do when you see your deal breaker in a relationship? You're already in it. You're already committed. So this is not a first date. This is we've been doing this for a while. Talk about it. Okay. <sighs> Talk about it. It's, uh, see the, a shrink. So, no. <laughs> does counseling help? <laughs> yeah, it Can does. it help you get to the bottom of why this person is that way and why you have an issue with it? My question is, do we really believe in counseling in this, in this part well, of the, the world? Well, the African culture has it, not imbibed it yet. Uh, the, the, our culture is pretty much, if you're married, if something's going on in your marriage, keep it to yourselves. Don't mm -hmm. even tell your parents. Uh, until like it's really, really bad. Now. So, we don't have to be that way. Yeah, we don't have to be that way, but I still believe in something. We are still... Nigerians, right? And we still have. So I should culture. die in the house. No, it's not about <laughs> dying. It's not about dying in the house. I, I, it's it's it's. Let's be very sincere. Outside of Nigeria, you know the other. Yeah, there's counseling. Even if a child is misbehaving, mm. counseling is counseling. But do we really have it here? Do we do we even have? Do we even know counselors around us? Do you know someone that's... There are counselors. There are counselors. Some people go to, to like their church or their school. Their church. Yeah. And it's usually your counselor is usually your pastor. Yeah. Yeah. It's usually your pastor. It's not like you're actually... But, but they actually I, have professionals now. I think if you've looking. been together for... You can Google it. You can Google everything. Uh, if, if, <laughs> if, you th if you think... You, if you've been <laughs> together for two years mm. and here comes this deal breaker, the most important thing is you sit on the table and talk about it. Actually, you will really find out if that person really truly cares about you or yeah. not in that deal breaker. Because sometimes it's about you telling, being honest with that person. Hey, baby, your breath just started kicking like, whoa. From nowhere. From nowhere. But What's going on? Is it, it could be her body's changing. It could be that she needs to go to the hospital. It could be that she's actually really sick. It could be a life-threatening thing that's going on. It's not just halitosis. It could be that she has something else. She could have cancer of the throat. You don't know, mm, yeah. so it's it's it goes back to this communication, talking. Mm, hey, yeah. and that's it. And you but, know what? And from there, you can it can solve a lot of different things yes. from there. For uh, for me, I feel like it starts with the fundamentals. Why did you start the relationship in the first place? Some people just hop into it, or maybe a girl met a guy and she just liked him because he had money, and they didn't have the time to talk. So there was no talk in the relationship. So now that we are in the middle of the the, the sea and not wanting to talk. We are not used to talking. So what are we talking about? Mm -hmm. I give you money and you do your thing. So um, it, so it depends on the relationship. It was the talk talk relationship. Then you'll be able to solve issues differently, you know, easily. But if it's the one that is just, uh, yeah, the wife, you know your role in this home and you just have to do what you have to do, then it will be complicated. It's uh, uh, yes, it is complicated, but I also think when we the word relationship is coming from relating. Yeah, but you know we are so the it, African background, and relationship does not really mean relationship. But the relationship, here in you're, the relationship you're talking. I about. I am the man, you are the wife. So whatever I, I say, that. you do. Mm -hmm. No, but the relationship that you just talked about is a relationship. They're relating on the let's have fun level. Yeah. So if you're doing let's relate on the have fun level, and if you're doing that for two years, when it comes because the fun stops somewhere, when that fun stops. 
they can't relate anymore because they started relating. They started on the wrong. Started oh, no, wrong. Are, 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 are really, and then within and that two years, they choose yeah, not wrong. to relate. That's just the truth. Like, yeah. really, really, like, hey, what's actually your real name? What's mm. your, do you know how many couples don't know their full name? Do you know how many couples who are dating for two years only know, hey, your name is Femi, but they, they know the first and the last name, but yeah. they, don't know the, they don't even know the middle name. This is true. Now, I, I find that sometimes the, the kind of deal breakers that people create, it's there's a psychological, underlying psychological yeah. issue there as well. It might be somebody, for instance, the basic one, which is, you know, I don't want a man who will cheat on me, might be because at some point in time, my mom cheated on my father, or my father cheated on my mom, or whatever it is, and I saw how that hurts them, mm -hmm. and I don't want to be hurt like that. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you think it's helpful, and this is where counseling would come in, mm -hmm. obviously, it would be helpful to not just understand that, okay, this person has done this thing which I consider to be a deal breaker, but why is it important to me that they don't break that thing? And if you can address that, can I then forgive this person if it's a forgivable thing, like if, cheating? If it's a forgivable As opposed to somebody thing. who, I mean, we we're saying um, earlier that if, for instance, this person, you both believe in God and then something fundamentally strong happens and the person suddenly starts believing in God. You know, and like I was saying, you know, relationships, you're supposed to move and grow together. And it doesn't mean that you both grow like this, but there's a give and a tug and things happen to you at different yeah. points. So do you then move apart because this person suddenly doesn't believe in God? It, it really depends where that person is also. Mm -hmm. You know, the you know there's sometimes when you're reaching out to people and you can't get through, sometimes it, it can get very, it can, it can make you then put up a wall. Yeah. It's like, I'm trying, I'm trying. You're getting a bunch of people to talk to that person and it seems like it's going nowhere. And sometimes you feel like you're stuck. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes um, I feel uh, in, in a lot of relationships when you feel you're stuck, you feel like you have to get out. Mm. Um, for me, you are not your mom. So do not try to live your mom's life. It happened to your mom doesn't mean it's going mm -hmm. to happen to true, you. True. So when you carry that burden on yourself, that's so not good. So just have a free mind. Be open-minded. And when issues come, you try to tackle it. Be with someone that you genuinely like and uh, you could grow into love. And um, a lot of people get to marry their friends because they can talk about issues. Mm -hmm. They know everything. You know my bad, you know my, and we've been able to conquer all of this and then we're married now. So they can withstand any pressure. That would last a longer time than people that are just, you know, for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Oh, what are the signs that, the, the, it's like I'm about to get the butcher. <laughs> when they're not picking up calls, when you're not returning message, when message is not being returned, uh, when there's an excuse, more than a few times. Yeah. Excuses that would not be made before. When plans are being broken that would never be broken before. That's, that's, that's the hint that uh, something's going wrong or it's time for us to part ways. And um, when is it that you, in a relationship, you look at it and you're like, you know what, I cannot. At one point you decide this is something I just can't get over. When the person stops caring, like it could even care less anymore. So if the, if the deal breaker, for instance, was cheating, if the person still cares that they hurt you, you can work it out. You can stay. Yeah, there's still a chance. But if they, you're, by your rule, if, if yeah. they no longer care even about then how they're cheating, it's like, then it's yeah, time to go. It's like a wall. You try, you're hitting your head so hard and nothing is happening. What's the point? Mm -hmm. You've tried talking, you've counseled, you've done everything, you've cooked his best meal, you've given the best this, you've given, and he's still not changing. You know, like some men, when did, I'm a woman, so speaking from a woman's standpoint, you do everything. This woman is beautiful. She's slim. She's gorgeous. And they still cheat. What are you looking for? I'm killing hmm. myself here. You don't even know what I'm going through emotionally. You don't even want to know. You're just thinking about yourself. You're being very selfish. What do you want her to do? Just stay there and keep suffering? I mean, when you've done everything, some people say pray. Yeah, prayer works. But for how long? Mm -hmm. I mean, it will eventually work if you are that patient, but... And everything doesn't work. Yeah, you look like you have something to say. It's um, any man or woman that goes outside the relationship, there's something missing. And sometimes we don't know what it is right. because we've all heard of cases of a woman, beautiful, I mean, perfect, to the T, cook, clean, everything, but that man still steps out. And then we've heard of stories, the man, great, great job, provider, takes care of the woman, and the woman still steps up. What is it? 
is it is it there's there's something missing and i i for the life of me i can't say this is what it is i believe when you need to remove yourself is when it starts to become unhealthy for you when you start to lose yourself you need to remove yourself so if the deal breaker is there and it's making you become some something you're not you need to remove yourself Usually it makes you something that you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you're nagging too much. But not a bad breath. You're not bro. understanding. Yeah, not, 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 not a bad that's, breath. That's, 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 that's superficial. That's superficial. Yeah. That's very super. Yeah, but when it comes to the no, cheating that one, thing. If yeah. you love a person, you try to find a solution to the bad yeah. breath. So. Okay. What if it's a financial thing? What if you love this person and they're perfect in every way, but they gamble? And they've been ah, gambling your savings gamble. away. Gamble. Gambling like, is another. No, no, gambling no. no. Is a, mm -hmm. Gambling is a different ball game. Gambling, You're risking the life of that family. Glam, gambling ruins more lives than mm -hmm. people cheating. I'm sorry. Because a lot of people selfish. gamble their life spendings away. It's an addiction. Mm. Gambling is an addiction. It's just like, you know, being addicted to alcohol or drugs. It's an addiction. So it's on another level. Um, I mean, I've heard, I've, seen, I've heard stories and I've seen people who actually... They're looking to just. You know, I find it curious though that when we meet people yeah. in that period of honeymoon and getting to know them and the excitement of this guy called me or this girl finally returned my call, whatever it is, that we actually see some of these warning signs and mm -hmm. sometimes those deal breakers are there, mm -hmm. but we choose to ignore it. Yeah. Why do we do that? And yet, when we're in a committed relationship, we use that deal breaker as the crutch we lean on to say, "This is why I'm leaving you." you want the Love. Truth? Why? You want the truth? Why? You want to get the cocoa. No, love. What, what do you mean cocoa? Like, for me, no, I feel right. like... Belinda, what do you mean cocoa? Yeah. You want to get what? You want to get... All right, let me... Okay. Please break it down. <laughs> A guy... The truth is, deal breakers, you see them. Every time. In the beginning. In the beginning, you see them. <sighs> you ignore them because... You want to hit it. You want to hit it. No. And then when you're in a relationship... And then when you're in a relationship, it. suddenly... It's like, oh man, I didn't like that. Oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Someone like me, I don't even. That's not even in my mind for the first six months when I meet you. So that's not it. I want to know who you are. Mm -hmm. If I can relate with you, if you you can relate to me on my own IQ level, I can have a good conversation with you. I can have good laughs with you and stuff. So if I don't have those things. But I'm talking about in an instance where, let's go with the tall, dark, handsome thing. Mm -hmm. When you met the person, they were tall, dark, handsome, yeah. and you loved it. Yeah. And maybe tall isn't your, your thing, and that was a deal breaker, but you ignored it. Now that you're in a relationship with them, you want to end the relationship. You're now saying, well, I need to leave you because you're tall, tall dark, and handsome. Because I prefer you're now it. using yeah. that deal breaker as your crutch. That's what I'm saying. And that's not fair. Yeah. Oh, well, we're human beings. We have our flaws. <laughs> perfection and on that note i hope that you enjoyed watching love lounge today please keep your messages coming in we are on social media love lounge will be back again next week <laughs> we want what we want yes when we want and yeah, when we don't we want, 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 want.